Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and that is the 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQS 450 Plus. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of what makes this one so unique. First things first, I do want to say thank you to Clint and the team at Mercedes-Benz of Tyler for letting me drive this one to show off to you this afternoon. This is just a quick tour video, so if you want to see more, let me know down in the comments and we'll see if we can't get one of these from Mercedes-Benz proper. I have tested one of these from Mercedes-Benz of Tyler already here on the channel, but that was last year. Just want to give you a quick refresher. First, this is a fully electric sedan from Mercedes-Benz. So there is no gas engine underneath that hood. In fact, I can't even open that hood because there's so much going on with the air ionization system inside. Plus Mercedes wanted to keep this super aerodynamic. So this is one of the most aerodynamic vehicles on the road. And because I cannot open that hood, that's is what this little door here is for. You just push on it, it pops open, and this is how you refill your windshield wiper fluid. You know, typical things you would need to open the hood for, but taking a look at the design of this, very similar styling to the EQS SUV we've tested and the EQE sedan we tested. Though this is the first Mercedes-Benz EQ product, electric product. We do have LED headlights, LED running lights, including this full width LED light bar across the front. Very unique and distinct style when you are driving around at night. This one does not have the repeating Mercedes-Benz star logo in the grille. It's just a black plastic panel, which is nice. It's classy and contrasts with this white paint job very nicely. You can see more of the aerodynamic styling of this. Mercedes calls this the one bow design. And if you look at it, it does look like a bow that is pulled back and ready to fire. And again, plays into the aerodynamics of this vehicle. Also playing into the aerodynamics of the vehicle, the wheel design. So you can see they are a very interesting and unique look. They are wrapped in Goodyear rubber. These are 255-45 are 20 inch Goodyear uh, Eagle F1 tires wrapped around these very aerodynamic wheels. You can see they're hiding fairly substantial brakes back behind there. But looking at the overall design of it, again, going to the aerodynamics of it, the door handles are retracted right now. And that is something that Mercedes has even been doing on the S-Class gas powered vehicle. So. This being the EQS, this is the electric S-Class equivalent, if that makes any sense. But moving around back here to the back, you can see we get a full LED light bar back here as well, echoing the front. Red brake lights, amber turn signals, very cleaned up uh, design back here, very curvaceous. Everything is flowing and no real hard lines on this vehicle anywhere. And you get this nice little ducktail spoiler. If you want to open the rear hatch, yes, it is a hatch. You push on the Mercedes-Benz logo and you get tons of cargo space back here. So much so, that's our full-size luggage and it's pushed all the way back. There is a little bit of a hump there keeping it from going any further. You can get a false load floor here with even more storage underneath. So you can really pack this thing full of gear and take a lot of stuff with you. You can see 40-20-40 split bench rear seat, so you can fold that down in many different fashions. There are top tethers all the way across for a child seat anchor, and then to close the power hatch, you just push the button right there, and it will close. Before we wrap up, I do want to show you the charge port door is right here on the side. You can just push it and open it, J1772, and does take DC fast charging, but we'll talk more about that when we get inside. All right, before we hop inside, I did want to show you the Mercedes-Benz key, typical modern Mercedes-Benz key. You've got lock, unlock, and your hatch release right here. If you want to remote start it, you have to do that through the app, but you don't even really need to take this out of your pocket because it is a proximity key and will allow you to get in just by walking up to it. The doors are retracted right now, but you just push on them and they will pop out. 
lock it by pushing it right there and that retracts all of them. So you, you can even come back here to the back door, do the same thing and get them to extend. But pulling them and opening them, you are greeted with a very luxurious and upscale interior. And I do want to call out before I hop in, the frameless window design here on these doors, much like the EQE we've already tested. Though again, this one came first. Closing the door and getting away from all of that traffic noise outside, very comfortable cabin. And because it's an electric vehicle, the air is already going, my seat is already on, it is very comfortable in here. But let's start with the styling here on the door. Nice two-tone gray and cream interior. Lots of ambient lighting. We know Mercedes does that really well. Really like this rose gold accent that runs the entire width of the front of the cabin. And then we have three-person memory, heated, ventilated uh, seats up front. They are power adjustable, even have an adjustable thigh support right here. Very nice window or door lock and unlock. Window button here with a lock mirror controls right here and then moving over to the left side of the steering wheel you've got your light controls down here and your electronic parking brake underneath this turbine style uh, air vent i really like that it's got led ambient lighting built into it and then your wood accents here on the dash but let's go ahead and start this thing up proper and talk a little bit about the power of this one so this is the EQS 450 plus there is a more powerful 580 but this 450 makes 329 horsepower and 417 pound-feet of torque it will charge at home at a rate of 9.6 kilowatts and on the road at a fast charger it can upset uh, it can accept up to 200 kilowatts of DC fast charging. So that's very nice. And then maneuverability, I'm not gonna actually drive this one. It's a quick interior exterior tour, but this does have 10 degree rear steering. So it can turn on a dime. Typical Mercedes-Benz uh, gauge cluster here and a helper screen over here, much like the S-Class that we've already driven, much like many other vehicles that we've already driven from Mercedes-Benz. So I'm not going to go into too much detail. You can go watch our other videos on that because I go into much further detail on those there. But this steering wheel is very nice, very cushioned, very thick rimmed, very nice to hold. And then you can control everything on that screen from this little touchpad right here, a little slider for your volume. And then you can control everything on this gauge cluster from this screen right here. And this is all using the inbox Mercedes-Benz user experience system. And I have to be careful how many times I say MB because she is listening to me and she will come on because this is a voice activated system. You can see more of that wood look on the dash and that rose gold trim piece goes all the way around to the passenger side. I like it a lot. The seats, very comfortable. Did mention they are three person memory, even for the passenger over there, heated and ventilated. They are very nice and supportive. I've got different controls under here. This is kind of your control center for your different drive modes, your camera button, which is really interactive and very nice for helping you see around your vehicle and what's going on. I like that a lot. And there are some dedicated angles that you can see from there as well. This EQ button tells you about your charging range. You can see uh, I'm at 170 miles of range left at a 53% charge. The window sticker says 350 miles of total range on this one. And then this car button takes you to all your quick access functions. So things that you're probably going to get into the most. And then here are your radio controls over here on this side. This is eh, not my favorite. There are a lot of fingerprint uh, spots are going to be left on this, I feel, over time. And other trims, other models have different features uh, other than just this shiny black. But it's doing a pretty good job, even right now, of hiding that. Open it up, you've got your Qi wireless charger back here, two USB-Cs, your cup holders that do pop open if you need them, or they are completely removable, so you can have more storage space in here. And you can slide those up out of the way. And then we've got a split opening glove box, two USB-C ports in there. Very nice styling all the way around. I really do like this gray and beige two-tone. 
and it does translate even down to the floor mats. One last thing I want to talk about looking up, we have this massive glass roof with very large opening front section and two different uh, panes of glass, two different sunshades. So, and you can see the front sunshade comes to fill in the gap right there. But uh, let's give that a close and uh, let's go check out what that back seat is like here in the EQS. All right, hopping in the back seat of the EQS behind myself at 510. Again, I mentioned the gray even on the floor mats. I love this. If you watched our EQS SUV, we had cream color floor mats. That's a no-go. I, I really like these dark gray ones. Uh, it is a nice upgrade over the cream ones, but getting in, closing the doors, it is supremely quiet in here. The vehicle's on. You can't tell. It's electric, so there's that. Being a Mercedes-Benz product, it is very well insulated from the world around you. And you can see so much room behind myself at 510. Very comfortable back here. Backseat passengers are not second-class citizens. You get wood here on uh, the door panels, much like up front. You get the two-tone up here. You get the rose gold. You get uh, the black panel and all the ambient lighting back here. If it were dark, you would be able to see there's just a lot of ambient lighting back here as well. Uh, on backs of the seats, you have these flexible map pockets, so that's nice. There is a little storage down here on the door as well. No controls for the rear AC, but you can access it right there. And then if you pull this down, you get two USB-C ports for backseat passengers. Rather flat load floor. This is about an inch uh, raised center section, but uh, many other products with a transmission tunnel or a drive shaft tunnel are much more invasive than this. So pretty good flat load floor back here. And then the seats you can see are designed very much like the ones up front. We get pillows back here for rear seat passengers. Full down center armrest with this two stage cup holder system that uh, retracts very nicely. And if you want to fold down the 20% of the rear seat, you can do that right there. It is a latch. It has to be done from inside the vehicle, but otherwise very comfortable. You can see that uh, sitting back here in the back, I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm really good. The seat is comfortable. I already showed you how much leg room I had. Headroom is a little limited. I, I can find just the right position where it's not really a problem for me. And oh, it's so comfortable back here. You'll know from any of my driving videos of EQ products, they drive very well, very smooth, very quiet. Electric vehicles and luxury vehicles should go hand in hand, and Mercedes has really hit the nail on the head with this EQS sedan. I like it a lot, but that's about it for my time giving you a tour of this EQS 450 Plus. Huge thanks to Clint and the team at Mercedes-Benz of Tyler. Again, I will link their website down below. If you go see them, tell them Corey sent you. You can find out more from us and what we're driving all month long because from January 3rd to February 3rd, doing a new video every single day of a new vehicle every single day. So go find us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all the things at GT Garage Talk or head on over to gtgaragetalk.com. You can also, you know, like, subscribe, follow, whatever, ring the bell, comment, help the algorithm know to show you more of our content because we've got a lot of stuff coming. I want you along for the ride. But as for me and this EQS, we're at the end of the road. Until next time, gearheads. Bye.